The smoke it might be fry cook. Fry cook? I'm not sure. All right, right into it. So this is this is best of five. So G money not. Oh, it is best five. Yeah. Winner semi is best five. Okay. Yeah. All so top eight. G money is not um not playing Falco. Yeah. He also has a Marth. He's been playing Marth a lot. Yeah. Played against Ices. Good choice. I hate Falco Ices. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Just Fox but does like way, 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 way better. Yeah. You don't have to be as perfect with Marth or with Fox. Well, yeah. with Fox you do. But not with Marth. So that's why I picked Marth. Right. I assume. I feel like, uh, how, do, how do you feel about this matchup as Falco against Peach? Falco against Peach, I like. Uh, until I play a really good Peach that knows how to space her aerials really well. Yeah, then it's harder. Yeah, because like... Uh, at low level, yeah. At low level, uh, you can kind of beat Peach's aerials by coming above her and just down airing her, and then you get a little bit better, and they start airing you out of your down air, and you're right. like, well, there goes my whole game plan. Right, exactly. Have you played either of these two? I've played Ryobeat quite a bit. I have not played G Money. Ryobeat, I honestly have yet to take a game off him. I get really close, but I can't seem to clutch it out. Um, I'm really not sure who wins Peach Sheik sometimes. Because Armada hasn't lost to a Peach in I don't know how long. To a Sheik. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that might come from his brothers. You know, his brothers. That's but true. Oh, that's, oh, that's really sad. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, obviously at this level, I can I can absolutely beat Ryobeat. But I have to do a bit more. I mean, need to get my punishes harder. I think right. this game is like 65% punish game, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Punish is so much more important than anything. And punish helps you win neutral because you have someone who's afraid of your punish, so they're going to be afraid exactly. of neutral. Exactly, exactly. I think that's why Icy's destroy low level so much because, you know, at low level, somebody has a great punish and you're afraid of them. Like, what are you going to do? Right. And then, like, you miss space one aerial on shield mm -hmm. or, like, you don't L cancel once, you get grabbed. And, yeah. And you die. Icy's are the one mistake, you die. Yeah. At, even at low level. Whereas yeah. other characters, they might be able to do it, but not until they get really good. Right. Yeah, sometimes it feels like Ice Climbers can only really win if the other person is making mistakes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I have to say, though, you proved so much yeah, since, when I, since when we first played, like, back in the day, like a year ago. Yeah. Thanks. I think all of New Jersey is improving a lot. Absolutely, yeah. It's so hard to keep up. All right, so this is pretty tight. G Money, even after that SD, still managing to. So go I've even. seen Ryobi do that turn up drop edge guard. Yeah. Uh, against Marth a lot. He did against uh, Gibson Zero. I don't see the point of dropping the turn up. Because really? if it hits them and they hit the stage, they get attack, and then they are they're in a better position. That's true. The thing is, I think that he usually, if you hit them like you know from this side and they're mm -hmm. over here, it's always going to push them away, away. You know. Yeah. I think it's kind of just like if you miss base it, then they'll get pushed away. Okay. Oh, so when he played Gibson Zero, he did a lot of uh, flow canceled fair into like jab or like dash, whatever. Right. He just did flow canceled fair into grab, so he's already uh, adapting since last week. When right. He last played a top mark. Really impressive. You know why he changed his tag? Ryobi? Uh, not Gibson Zero, because oh, he don't no, used to be no. Swift Base. Right, yeah, so now he's. His name is Tim Gibson. Ah. I think I don't know where the zero comes from, and I right. don't know why he doesn't like the name Swift Base. Right. But yeah, I don't know. It was really confusing for a lot of people. Oh no! This looks like it's gonna be it. Uh, oh. Ah, great, ed great edge guard. I probably would have rolled up too early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But you know just, oh, that down smash. Peach's down smash on this stage. If you're under yeah. her, oh man. Even if you shield it. I feel really comfortable on FOD against every other character. Against Peach, I'm like, if I make one stupid spacing mistake under the platform. Oh, yeah. Ugh. No, thank you. I'll you strike that. Yeah. So I wonder if G Money even considers bringing out Falco. Um, he, he's, I don't really think he lost due to much fault of his own. Right. He kind of just made some small mistakes. I Yeah, so he's sticking with it. Yeah, when a match is that close, usually you can say, well, I'll just not make a couple mistakes. Right. It's game. only when, like, you get, like, absolutely wrecked where sometimes right. I'll think about, like, should I play some other character? Mm -hmm. Even though I don't really have any other characters, but still. I wonder if it was even worth going back to FOD. Because now you have different variables. You were that close on FOD. Why not go yeah. back? Is this really a hard counter? I don't think so. 
It's absolutely not. But like, all right. So what's? I mean, if this is best of five, right? You said it's top eight. Right. I would have gone Yoshi's. Yoshi's However, yeah. maybe G Money is thinking like, I'm gonna save Yoshi's, mm -hmm. so that way I can counter pick it later. So it's an even harder counter pick. Right. Uh, well, I wonder against Ryobi though. Ryobi is so aggressive. Is Yoshi's even a good pick? Yeah, you'll get the early kills, but you won't be able to get away from Ryobi. That's true. I'd want the space. Interesting. Maybe that's why he chose Battlefield. It's a bit more open. Yep. Yep, that's a good point. At the same time, I feel like Barth just dominates so well on that stage because his F Smash covers, like, yeah. half the stage. So right there, uh, G Money punished a turnip pull. And it does seem like Ryobi is a, like, really turnip heavy uh, peach. So yeah. I wonder if this will, if, if he'll actually adjust and stop pulling as many turnips, or if he'll just be like, all right, you got me that one time, dude. Right. Because sometimes, like, when I, when somebody catches me for a habit, sometimes I'll change, and sometimes I'll just be like, you know what, do it again. Right. Pro prove that you're actually going to be able to do that consistently. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't know. He doesn't pull many turnips at all. Right, mean? Yeah, he really doesn't. And the thing is, Peach has her float cancel stuff. So like she she has the ability to do shield pressure in other ways, mm -hmm. but at the same time her turnips allow her to cover so much more space. Yeah, I mean what I've heard from this matchup is like Marth has a hard time dealing with turnips, so I'd assume you'd want as many as you can get. Right. Wow. Oh man, turnips are so good. Heard like Link's bombs, like yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for characters without projectiles, like Captain Falcon. I don't even understand. How, the, how they do without a projectile? Yeah, man. I played Falco for so long, it's like, I would have no idea what to do if I played a different player. Right. Marth or Captain Falco. That's the thing. I think it, it comes down to having an even harder punish game. Like, right. you get one opening, you can kill them. Yeah. Then you don't really need the projectile. But, like, it controls neutral, especially Falco's Falco's Oh, my God, Falco's lasers. <laughs> Sometimes I just laugh at how broken they are. It's like there's an answer to them. You, know, you can power shield them. You can go on a platform, but they're still really hard to deal with. You have to be so much better than the Falco. Right. You know, that's hard because he, he read that tech roll in, right? Covers it with a down air, but gets nothing off of it. Right. You know? Yeah. It's like, what could he have done? He probably could have, like, read it with a tipper, but it's even harder to land that. Right. Oh. Uh, did not want that slow get up. Oh yeah, Peach is running out of float there. He has his jump. Oh, I don't think he used his jump. I think he landed on stage, but could be wrong. Yeah, G-Money is definitely trying to stay really close to Peach, not let her get any, any, uh, not, not establish her spacing with floats and not get any turnips out. Right. As soon as he got back from the platform, he was like right at her. Back from respawn. Right. Yeah, Bryobeat seems to be so, do his spacing. Like, Peach's wave dash is not good, but if you notice, right. he's using it. Just to stay just out of range. Right. Yeah. Let's see how he covers the edge. Uh, kind of faded away. You no, know, it's kind of hard. Like, what are you going to do? The thing is, Marth, especially, is pretty bad on the edge. Yeah. Because his wave land, um, his wave, uh, sledge dash only gives him like three frames of invincibility. I yeah. think he it perfectly. Which is not very good. But then from Peach's side, it's like if you go in and like really commit with an aerial, like you're really hard committing with Peach because it yeah. takes her forever to get back out. That's true. That's rough. It's not like Falco where you can just like sit there and back there and back there and back yeah. there and back there. True. See, like there he did a float cancel, so you can get some jabs out, but that's about it. Can he use a turn up? Will oh, he no, use it? He did the roll on stage. No, he just gets rid of it. Oh, oh no! I yeah. hate to see that again. That shield's not yet. Franco, do you want to get on? Do you want to get on, Commodore? All right, I'm gonna go play All my right, match. See you later. All right, so game goes back to Battlefield. Picks Falco though. Yep. What's up, Roy? Uh, giving me the mic. Just okay. wondering, where are you in bracket? Um, I gotta play Diz, and I think win is uh, win of that is and win of semis. Okay, wow. So who who have you who have you played so far? Um, Aslan and Risen. Aslan? As Aslan. Aslan. It's pretty good. 
So G Money played uh, Marth the first two games. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how he lost his first stock. Ah, oh, just misses that back air. Wow, oh, that that laser hit. It almost looks like it hit through the invincibility. Right. Like he meant to uh, reset, but whatever. Hit anyway. Ooh, nice good, pressure. Good shield pressure. Anytime you do late nair, um, shine, yeah. early nair, drift back, commentators always have to say nice shield pressure. The, the late nairs drift yeah. back? Why yeah. late? Isn't late kind of bad? Like late as in like it hits late. Oh, gotcha. I, I don't know how else to phrase that. Well, like, particularly when people, when people say a late aerial, I feel like they mean... Yeah. Like, instead, I, I would know. say that he did a low aerial. Low, yeah. So, low nair, shine. Low nair again. Drift back. Right. Rising nair. I don't know. But, yeah, those three things are inescapable, and your, your shield is gone. Do I hear a little salt? Oh, no. It's, 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 it's <laughs> a good saying, thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> I think the way you said it was like yeah. inescapable, you lose your shield, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Oh no, it took his jump. It took his jump, took uh, his float, took it all. But he didn't, he should have just grabbed edge. But did not seal his parasol. Yeah. Back air. Oh, nice. Good that he's getting these edge guards on Peach. I think that's uh, crucial. Right. Yeah, it is super crucial. Your punish game is 65% of melee. I just said this like a minute ago. Why Why you, like, you can't assign a number to these so, things. It's so subjective. I, like, that, that's right. a, 65 is a number. Why, how you, I, what I mean to say is I think punish is the most important part of melee. I just say 65% because I feel like that is an accurate number to, to like, most of melee. I mean, how, how do you, like, yeah, like, 65, 35 matchups? <laughs> how do well, you, yeah, like, exactly. People assign numbers all day long, don't they? Yeah, but but how do you call like one thing more important than another when you need everything to be good? I mean, you're right, but you can get you can go so far with punish. Yeah, case in point, you. He I wants to fire back. You want to fire back. What's up? <laughs> you want to fire back. You're itching, man. To yeah, fire. yeah. Um, yeah. I, I agree with uh, Peluo. I think. Um, I think melee 69 percent. Best boy, I guarantee that I will beat you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That best boy. You, you think know, it's Zofia's just, you think it's just some scrub on so. chat, man? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> your, your statements are 65% <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> that, that was almost a good tech chase. You know, if he got it. Yo, but Reese is in think. the chat? Oh, <laughs> that's not Reese. Wait, is it? <laughs> oh, it is Reese. Wow, Reese on his phone. That's so funny. Reese really, really wants to weigh in. He gets so salty. He thinks the only reason he loses is a lack of Yeah, it's Frogger against Zofria. Yeah. It's just my opinion, man. All these 65 man. jokes in the chat. <laughs> you, guys can, <laughs> you guys can disagree with me. It's just my opinion. <laughs> All right. Ryobi, I mean, is G-Money going to take this game? If he does, then I'm going to say, um, puts one on the board. I'm going to use that phrase for, I think, the third time today. What? But that doesn't happen. Oh, nice 3-0 Put, there. Puts one on the